Colleges, universities, and other educational institutions have a unique business model that doesn't really fit with how HubSpot's default data model is set up. However, I'm going to show you how you can customize HubSpot so it works exceptionally well for a college or university. If you look at this data model, we've got HubSpot's standard objects of contacts, companies, tickets, and deals. But because colleges and universities work a little bit different, we're going to use those standard objects a little bit differently. Universities have a wide variety of different types of contacts that they would want to have in a CRM. So you can see here, I've created a contact types property, and that's going to track which type of contact we're looking at, whether it's a student or an instructor, a new applicant, an alumni, a donor, or any other kind of contact that you might want to store. Instead of companies, which universities don't typically deal directly with, I've repurposed that object to be departments. Similarly, I've repurposed deals. Universities don't typically have a normal sales process, so I've created separate pipelines for applications and donations. HubSpot's tickets feature could easily be repurposed to track counseling programs like career counseling or academic counseling. I've also created three custom objects. Courses will store information about classes that students take, scholarships will track financial aid that they receive, and research grants can store information on money that students or teachers get in order to do research. The most common type of contact record that colleges or universities are going to have is going to be students. So if we look at the student record, you can see information such as their student ID, the degree they're pursuing, their major, their GPA, and their expected graduation date. I've also shown associations to courses they are taking, admissions applications that they've submitted, and scholarships that they have applied for or received. In order to show different types of information for each different contact type, you can use conditional sections within your record builder. If I click into student information, if you check this box, you can make this section conditional on the property contact type so that when it's a student, it shows student information, or when it's an instructor, it shows instructor information. If I switch over to an instructor record, the information is going to be a little bit different. So here you can see their title, their office location, phone number, and their rate my professor hotness rating. You can also see which departments they're a part of. That's that company's object, as well as courses that they teach and research grants that they've received. The most valuable custom object we've created for colleges and universities is courses. These records can store information such as the course title and code, the type of course it is, the number of credits, and capacity and enrollment numbers. We also associate these records with students who are taking the course, instructors who teach the course, and departments that the course is a part of. Colleges and universities can repurpose deals in order to track admissions. Admissions departments can track applications from submission all the way to acceptance of an offer to attend. You can use a form like this one in order to collect applications through your website, or you can use the forms API to send information into HubSpot from another system. When the application is submitted, you can use a workflow like this to automatically create a deal record in the application pipeline. And you can copy over information from the record, such as the state that the student is from. You can also dynamically update the application to show the amount of tuition that the student will pay. So in this workflow, I'm checking whether or not the student is in the state. And if they are, we set the tuition amount to one amount. And if they're out of state, to a different amount. You could use a similar workflow to decrease the amount of tuition if the student was granted a scholarship or financial aid. Lastly, you can use a workflow to automate acceptance or rejection emails. This email checks which pipeline stage a deal is in, and if it gets moved to offer sent, then it will send an email saying you've been accepted. If it's moved to rejected, we'll send an email saying we regret to inform you. And if they're put on the wait list, then we're going to let them know to keep an eye on their inbox for a future email. Similar to how we tracked applications, we can use a separate deal pipeline to track donations. You can use workflows to automate annual reminders to donate or follow up with alumni who have donated. And HubSpot payments or an integration with a payments processor like Stripe can collect donations and save that information in HubSpot. Using HubSpot's powerful automation and extensibility tools, colleges and universities can supercharge their CRM and change it into something that fits their unique business model. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me on LinkedIn.